I'm going to go back to sound here and type in 135 for this little bit. Once I do that, everything should be in sync. Let's turn our beep back on. All right, and then we can even unmute our song, see if we've added a cool groove to the song. All right, everything's good except the song is not in sync with the groove again. What's wrong now? Well, I think the problem is the song's beat one is not right. Let's rewind. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, the, the, the number one beep and the number one beat of the song are not right. So this song doesn't start on beat one. Another problem for us to fix. Let's listen to it um, soloed. Oops, sorry. Back to the beginning. Metronome off. Ah, it starts with a snare. So snares are usually on two and four in a song. So I think this one, this baby starts on two. The song actually starts on two. I'm going to drag. I'm going to snap to quarter notes to make sure I'm always on... Um, one, two, three, or four beat, and drag our little song to number two. Let's listen. Beeper back on. I'm going to count with it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That feels good. Now if I add my groove, uh, we should be in good shape. Much better. All right. So now we've got a um, dance remix, right? At least kind of. We've added a beat along with our song to make it more danceable. Let's um, pretend that it's a mashup. How do you do mashups? Well, you edit, you split your clip, so you've got your first song and the second song you want to mash into it. Let's pretend that Jam and Groove Mixcraft is our second song. And um, we're going to start with the first song, and we're going to click on Jam and Groove, I'm sorry, and click right on the beat. You know, beat three, we're going to switch to the other jam and groove. Got to go to edit, split, and split the clip. I'm sorry, I didn't have it clicked. Got to be real careful with your click in here. <laughs> click in here, edit, split. Now I've got a split right at this beat, and I'm going to click on jam and groove, right click, and mute the jam and groove at the beginning. Then I'm going to click up here and mute the song uh, at that same point. Now when we listen, we should hear the song, and then we're going to switch to the second one. The mashup is complete. Second song. So we've mashed these two up. And you could switch back and forth, you know, verse from one song, chorus from the other song. Once they're in sync tempo-wise, you can freely just um, split the clip anywhere you want, chop them, or even play them both at the same time like we were doing before. All right, let's undo that. And... Um, Let's demonstrate one other thing you might want to do with beat matching, which is your um, DJ mix. So we've got our song. Um, let's say song one is almost over. I'm going to decide I'm done listening to it right here. Bar six and split the song. Just because I want to pretend that it's over. I'm going to delete the rest of the song and I'm going to make a fade out. How do you make fade outs? Well, it's a cool automatic way. You can drag over this uh, loop here and go to sound, fade out, and you can fade out fast, medium, or slow. I'm going to fade out, fade out medium. Let's listen to that. Let's go ahead and split the second clip as well. Same place. All right. Goodbye to the end of that groove. And hello, fade out. A little bit different fade out just for fun. Fast on that one. And listen. All right, let's say we want to make a seamless mix to another song. Let's bring in another song. Let's go here, let's get the groove. We'll bring it in, drop it on the track, and we'll overlap these guys a little bit. So let's overlap them like we're going to switch to the new, a new song tempo. All right, that was pretty chaotic DJ transition. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to set it right here. I think it would sound better to not overlap quite so much. It would be sure cool if we could seamlessly change the tempo maybe over these couple of bars right here. 
So what's the tempo of this little piece? Well, this groove, um, let's see. Uh, it defied automatic uh, analysis as well. So I'm just going to tell you I've tap tempoed this guy already, and his tempo is 135. So what we've got to do is transition from 118 to 135 by the time this other guy is faded out. Let's say by the end of bar 5. So over from bar 4 to bar 5, we're going to go from 118 to 135, and we'll be ready to go. So right here on bar 4, I'm going to click on a marker and check the tempo box and change our tempo to maybe 120. Then I'm going to go a little bit later in the bar and I click on the marker again. Tempo. I'm going to type in um, 125. And I could keep clicking the marker button here, but you can also just double click in this ruler and that will bring up a marker window. Make another marker of 130. And then right where I need the deed to be done, I'm going to double click and put in a marker of 135. So now, by the time I reach this um, bar 5, I'm going to have be in the tempo of the groove. Let's listen to this masterpiece. All right, that was pretty good. Um, one problem, we forgot to t type in a beat, uh, correct tempo for the groove. So I'm going to double click on the groove, bring it up here. Remember I said that I had already double clicked that thing, or uh, tap tempoed that thing, and he should be 135. So there's our 135. Now let's listen to it. Yeah, so it sounds like a brilliant DJ move. We could even extend this stuff back out here and uh, make a little bit, maybe delete. I'm holding down the um, Alt key while clicking to um, delete fade out markers. And it, let's see what this sounds like. Well, that was pretty smooth. Made it sound like we knew what we were doing.